Hey guys, Head in a Spike here with another custom minifigure video today for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Walter White from Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know it's like totally random and it's not anything Star Wars or Marvel, but I was like, hey, you know what? It would be really cool. You know what I'm into right now? It's Breaking Bad. I just watched like the finale and uh, it was so amazing and uh, I love the show and I was like, you know what? I think what my channel needs is definitely a Walter White minifig tutorial. So, what I did to make this figure is the head is from Ben Urich from the Daily Bugle series set, the uh, Daily Bugle UCS set that came out a few years back. You can also get the head from uh, a random dude from the giant Harry Potter set uh, that I'm blanking on. But it was a huge one. It was like like a $800 set. It was a, uh, the um, Diagon Alley. That's what it was. The Diagon Alley set also has a figure that has this headpiece. Some weird wizard dude who I don't remember the name of. But if you look at my... Um, I'll put it in the comments, actually. It'll be boring. But I'll put it in the, um, in the little about section for the video. The other character's name. It's a weird one, but I think it's the perfect head for Walter White because it's got the uh, the right goatee for him, and it has the uh, like these the gold wire wired glasses. It looks <laughs> looks just so perfect for Walter. I, I just had to use this head. It's like the ultimate perfect head for him. The torso is from Aldrich Killian from uh, the old Iron Man three set from twenty thirteen. I love this torso for Walter because he always has that beige jacket on. And I love how it also has like the uh, like one of his blue dress shirts underneath. And it even has a little belt. So I thought it was like the ultimate perfect torso for Walter. And I just threw on some old uh, khaki dark tan legs. I was thinking of using maybe a, like Killmonger's legs uh, from the Black Panther set. But those are, those pockets are just so big and bulky. I was like, nee, I don't know. I was also toying with the idea of making the uh, legs and hips match the uh, the torso, the the tan, and you could use like you know if you have them, the the uh, the Bespin Luke from Cloud City ten one twenty three. Good luck getting your hands on that thing though. But there's another one that's like that Luke Skywalker with those pockets, but it doesn't have the exact ones. I don't know where you can get it, but. It's much cheaper, and I just don't have it. But the pockets aren't as big as Luke's on that Cloud City figure. They're much smaller, and they're a little bit more detailed. Uh, that would also be like, good for Walter, but I don't have those legs. You can probably find them easily enough on Bricklink. The uh, pistol here is from uh, Bricklink. Or no, Brick Arms. Sorry, so many bricks. <laughs> Brick Arms, and uh, it's a really nice piece. Uh, I think it looks cool. I like how the uh, Aldrich Killian torso also has like a printed back, so it looks good for him in that way. And if you want to get really crazy, you can give him the uh, the Heisenberg hat. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, this is the hat from the uh, the Shanghai Gangster from the Indiana Jones set back from two thousand eight. Uh, it's a pretty perfect piece. I think I like it a lot. I know in the show he has kind of a like a, almost a top hat, but it's kind of like a half a size of a top hat. It's like a different kind of style hat. I think the black fedora is the closest thing you can get, though. I could give him an actual top hat, but that would look kind of stupid, I think. That wouldn't really look right for Heisenberg, so. Yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you dig this, and all right, then. Hit on a spike, out!